Treasurer Jim Chalmers has doubled down on his call that Peter Dutton is not only dangerous, but the most divisive leader in modern Australian history. Time now to bring in our political panel, former Labor Senator Stephen Conroy and former Victorian Liberal Party President Michael Kroger. Welcome to the show, um, Stephen and Michael. Great to speak to you again. So um, do you think this, these comments by Jim Chalmers were like uh, we just had a guest say a job interview for opposition leader next year. <laughs> Stephen? Uh, look, not at all. I think what uh, Jim was doing was just highlighting that Peter Dutton doesn't have any substantial policies going forward into the next election. So he is running a whole bunch of scare campaigns, you know, wanting to talk about visas, wanting to talk about nuclear energy, but he won't put the meat on the bones of the nuclear energy policy. He won't say what technology, he won't say how much it's going to cost Australia, he won't tell the truth about when they're going to be, uh, energy is going to be available, just like on their economic policy, they put out a sort of big leap today, $100 billion in savings. I mean, when you're reduced to saying we're going to get inflation down, and that means our interest payments on our debt will be smaller, you don't have any real policies. Uh, that is just a nonsense approach. And I think all Jim's done is very successfully drawn attention to the fact that Peter Dutton is an emperor with no policy clothes. And um, Michael, come in on this. I'm expecting uh. some <laughs> divisive comments here. <laughs> well, I'm old enough to remember when Malcolm Fraser was described as the most divisive uh, opposition leader and the most divisive prime minister in Australian history. That's no, until John right. Howard. That was until John Howard was described as the most divisive uh, leader in Australian history, and that was until uh, Tony Abbott. He was then described that way, and then of course Scott Morrison. He was also so. This is you know this is kindergarten stuff from Jim Chalmers. I mean seriously, it's hard to take this bloke seriously. He he he's a poor man's Jim Cairns. That's what he is. He's a poor man's Jim <laughs> Cairns. That that's all I can say about Jim Chalmers. He should stick to cutting government expenditure. He cannot control the expenditure in his own treasury. Stri uh, spending is out of control under this bloke. And as for Stephen's comments about Dutton, I think the electorate well knows who Peter Dutton is. He's a man for the working middle class. That's why his polls are rising. Albo is a captive of the extreme sort of hard left activists. So you in don't this think country, he says and that's divisive why his polls things? Are dropping. Well, what point You don't out, think pointing, Dutton says divisive things? Well, every politics is is a contest of ideas. So you can define anything you want as being divisive. If you take a different view, you're being divisive. What's Peter Dutton said recently? He's basically said, oh, I don't think, um, through the question of Julian and Lisa, I don't think people who express support for terrorist organisations pass the character test. I would think uh, 80 to 90% of Australians would agree with Dutton on this. They do not agree with Albanese. So what if you take a firm stand on something, you're being divisive, are you? I mean, that's 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 schoolyard stuff. I mean, Chalmers, goodness me, if he can't do better than that, you, you agree with that, away. Stephen? No, look, I think what Dutton is doing is trying to distract from the lack of policy agenda. I mean, Michael has very consistently over many years said we need a contest of ideas, and he's been not been critical of. The opposition. He's been making the point you need what are the big ideas? Why are we going to elect Peter Dutton? And that challenge remains. You know, saying we're going to have nuclear power in 2040 is not a solution to Australia's energy problems today. So come on, tell us what your policies are around the nuclear power option. Tell us what your policies are on tax so cuts. If you want to now commit the coalition billion. saying they're going to have about a hundred billion dollars, um, you know, with a twenty billion dollar gap that's unnamed uh, of spending cuts of anything that's wasteful. Um, do you think that's just trying to put some substance uh, to, no, to the ideas, opposition. Michael? I've been in opposition. I've sat there where you've got to try and find some numbers on a piece of paper to balance this. So you go, we'll get rid of consultants, we'll cut back on the public service, there'll be an efficiency dividend, all of these sort of fake ones. But I've never seen anyone try and pretend that they can tr control inflation. And because they're controlling inflation, they're going to save $20 billion of, of lower interest rate payments. That is comedy value and demonstrates why Angus Taylor's not up to the job. Mm. Michael? <laughs> the well, spending cuts? Where to begin. 
I mean, look, look, government expenditure goes to 26.6% of GDP in two years' time, right? Char Chalmers can't control himself. There's never been a spending proposal or an airy-fairy scheme that Jim Chalmers haven't, hasn't liked. La La Labor are captive to these hard-left activists who make demands on them and they cave in all day long. That's why expenditure is out of control under this government. Um, green schemes, housing schemes, all sorts of things, most of which is off balance sheet. So, you know, the Australian debt, and Judith Sloan pointed this out in The Australian this morning in a brilliant article, this guy can't control his expenditure. And, you know, uh, uh, basically government spending, as economists have said, and the Reserve Banks have said, increase in government expenditure by state and federal governments is putting pressure on inflation. And you have high inflation, you'll have high interest rates. So if you had a tighter fiscal policy, you'd probably have lower inflation in this country. And that's one of the problems with the Albanese government. They spend too much money, like all these Labor governments, uh, particularly hard left Labor governments like this, they'll leave Australia with an increased debt. And of course, Australians are paying for it in increased in, in, uh, in, in increased interest rates because this government can't control its expenditure. And that's the problem in this country today. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, a contest of ideas, always enjoy it. I just wish it would happen in China one day. <laughs> well, <laughs> Labor <laughs> Senator Thanks, Stephen Conroy. And yeah, that'll be the day. Former Victoria Liberal Party President Michael Kroger.